Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the alignment tools within your Easy Builder Pro project. On our work area, I currently have four objects on display. This includes two bit lamps, one word lamp, and one numeric object. Now you'll notice that each object is a different size. Let's go ahead and correct this by first assessing what size they should be. In this example, I would like each object to be the same size as my word lamp. To do this, I'm going to select each object except for my word lamp and then hold down the control key and select my word lamp. This lets Easy Builder Pro know that the word lamp will be considered the dominant object. Once all objects are selected, I'm going to select the size button and all objects will conform to the same height and width. With that configured, let's go ahead and align our top row along its vertical center by selecting the objects we want to align and then selecting our vertical center tool. This tool, like our last, also takes into account the dominant object, which is considered the last object selected in a series. With those aligned, let's address the spacing between them. I want them to be equally spaced. So I'm going to make a wide selection and highlight all of the objects I want evenly spaced. With those selected, I'm going to click my Space Even button to make the objects evenly spaced. And now I want my numeric object placed directly under my word lamp, but in a way so that the objects are centered. To do this, I'm going to select my numeric object and then select my dominant object, or in this case, my word lamp. Now I'll select my horizontal alignment tool. There's one last topic I'd like to cover. I've been asked several times if there's a way to align an object's label within the center of the object. Take for example, my word lamp, which has text on state one in the top left corner and a label on state two in the bottom right. To center each label in an object within multiple states, I'll begin by selecting my object. Next, I'll select my Label Positioning button, and then I'll select my Center Alignment Utility in my font section. Now you'll notice each state has a centered label. And if you're ever curious about what a specific alignment tool does, simply hover your mouse over the selected feature and a small description will appear. And of course, if you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.